So two more India teams picked. One for the T20s against New Zealand. We won't worry about that. That's not important except for one selection which we'll come to. But it's the team for the one days against Australia and New Zealand that matters. Remember, we've been saying all along here in Crickbuzz, 13 games to play before the World Cup starts. And I think there was, a, there was a statement from Virat Kohli as well that there will be no more experimentation, which leads me to believe that this could well be the team for the World Cup. That explains why Mohammad Shami is in. They want somebody to back up Bumrah and Bhuvneshwar. Maybe they, maybe Khalil, but maybe they're not a bit certain. So maybe the Khalil and Shami are other two places. But the fact that Jadeja is picked ahead of Krunal Pandya is a statement. The fact that Hardik Pandya slots straight back in is, is a statement. And the batting pretty much picked itself. It's far easier to pick the uh, uh, limited overs team than the test team these days. There's a couple of points that are interesting. We've always been told that Rishabh Pant is a white ball player whose work in progress in red ball. Look where life's taken him. He's your number one keeper in test match cricket. He can't find a place in the one-day team because Dinesh Karthik comes back. And what did we see last time? We saw last time that Dinesh Karthik went out and Rishabh Pant came in. So, there's a bit of confusion. I hope they now stick to a combination because players need to be told, this is who you are, this is where you will be. Pant, of course, plays the, uh, plays the T20. He's been told, you play against the England Lions, you play five games there. They've just kept that door open. But I'm starting to think that this might be the lineup going ahead into the World Cup. And that means Dinesh Karthik is a backup for Ambati Raidu at number four. And he's a backup for MS Dhoni because remember, there are nine games at the World Cup. So it'll surprise me enormously if there aren't major changes, if there are too many major changes from here. Which leaves that one change in the T20 side. MS Dhoni is back. And remember what we all said is MS Dhoni finished in T20 cricket. Don't read too much into it. MS Dhoni is picked in this side because he's not been playing a lot of cricket. He's not been playing for Jharkhand. MS Dhoni needs as many games as possible, even if he is as great a white ball player as, as Dhoni has been. And so the idea behind picking him, I'm certain, is just to get Dhoni as many games as possible so that he's fit and ready to play the World Cup. So don't worry too much about the, about the T20 side that's been picked. But uh, I think this might well be, with a little tinkering here and there, the World Cup side.